Once again, the main computer directs the ship to foggy Sutsujidai. That stupid Peller, do something about it already. You've been in a rather foul mood lately, Akane. What seems to be the matter? That Peller keeps knocking the world around and I have to clean it up. Hmm? On the subject of the Peller, we are not the only ones who seem to be aware of it. Gridman and his friends, right? So annoying. Much like the Pillars, they themselves exist outside the rules of this world. They will claim more and more of your paradise if left unchecked. No. No. I won't let them. This time I'm going to, to beat them. Beat them bloody. Akane Shinjo. Oh, Auntie, don't you know how to knock? I assist to kill Gridman. If he appears, I can turn into a kaiju on my own. Huh? Is that how I made you? I don't even remember anymore. Order me to destroy him. Fine, go help, go kill him then. The Dry Cruise people are back in Suits of Jedi anyway. I'm sure Hippokey will turn up if you hang out in front of the shop. The enemy I have to defeat is Gridman, not Yuta Hibby. I don't care which one you kill, just kill him. Yeah! Just get lost. You haven't been able to beat Gridman either way. I'm sick of your face. Get out of my sight. Are you certain that Kane? He's useless to me anyway. Indeed, a talented genius like you has much, much more to share. Yes, indeed. You're just the kind of help I've been looking for. Oh, Alexis. Melancholy. Melancholy! The new coordinates that Dreistraker received turned out to be over the Pacific Ocean. Naturally, we followed them, if only to discover what whoever was sending them wanted. And sure enough, we flew into a strange mist and ended up in Tsutsujidai, just like before. So we agree that our mysterious hacker is most likely the same in both instances? All of Commodore Fike's investigations paint Tsutsujidai as a perfectly ordinary Tokyo suburb. Certainly no reports of kaiju. Perhaps we're somehow in Suits of Jedi, but not the Suits of Jedi we know. What the heck? Weren't we just cruising over the ocean? This can't be right. There are all those huge things way out in the distance. Are are those kaiju? But there's no reaction from the civilians below. It's as if they simply can't see them. And they're not paying any attention to the dry crews either. Just like before. Hold on a sec. You've been here before? Mm-hmm. And we found ourselves here without knowing how we got here last time, too. So, this is actually our town? I knew it was weird, but I'm not sure I really proceed process how weird until now. Let's go into town and check it out for ourselves. Hell yeah, hunting for clues to the grand mystery of Tsutsujidai. Do you mind if I stop by my place first? What, is this really the time to get homesick? Well, when else can I go back? I want to see my mom and my friends while I'm here. Don't worry, we'll tell Commodore, I mean, Commander Mitsuba. Family is always important. Go ahead and see your parents. Caliber, you should go with them and take care of them. Understood. Thank you, Am Amuro. Wow, I almost said Amuro. We'll see you soon. You sure it's safe to let them uh, out there on their own, Amuro? We're outsiders here, so I have a suspicion that, on some level, we're fundamentally incompatible with this place. And the residents are so immersed in whatever drives this place that they wouldn't even notice if anything were amiss. I see. The ones who have the best chance of finding anything would be those who straddle both worlds. Well, it's just a hunch. I agree with Lieutenant Amro. It seems like something sets Rika and her friends apart from the rest of the town. That probably has to do with their realize uh, the relation to Gridman and its unquestionable oh, wow language fail. Their relation to Gridman is unquestionably part of it. Come on, Rika, Yuda, Utsumi. You have to figure out what makes this place so oppressive. I hopped off the Dristrager when I got the chance. I mean, when I got that strange feeling. But I don't recognize the city at all. Maybe I should have brought Yuda and his friends along. 
Ah, we finally meet. Huh? Are you talking to me? Why, of course. Can I shake your hand and get your autograph? Oh, and for the autograph, you can write to my number one girl, Akane. Whoa, hold on. Slow down here. I'm getting really confused. For one thing, my autograph isn't even worth anything. Come on now. You know better than that, Ultra Man. How do you know? Oh, Alexis tipped me off. Who? Who cares about that anyway? We should totally go out on a date. A what? Is that a no? I, I didn't say that. Oh, I get it. You're being cautious. You wouldn't want any evil aliens targeting Ultraman through the people closest to him. Don't worry, though. I never let them do that. Look, uh, sorry, but I've got to go. I've got places to be. Wow, who knew Ultraman was a shy boy underneath his mask? I think I'll take this chance to see Ultraman in a more valiant light. Why is the caps lock it? It's a word. <laughs> I hope my mom's not too worried about me. We haven't really been in touch since I went off on my work study. I miss Namiko and Hase too, but they'd be at school right now. Gridman, will they come here? Hey, isn't it a little early for a middle schooler to be wandering around? What do you want? I'm just wondering if you were supposed to be in school. School? What's that? Boy, I bet you're a long story. Besides, you're filthy and you look exhausted. I'm Rika. What's your name? Auntie. I'm looking for someone. You lost someone, huh? Why don't you stay for some tea? I run a cafe. My mom's out. But I can whip up something simple for you to eat, too. To eat food? Where have I heard this kid's voice before? Whoever created those kaiju in the fog, you can certainly feel their passion. Oh, Ernie. Wow, Akane, you're getting around today. I knew it. You can see the kaiju, too. I have to say, meeting you here makes many pieces fall into place. Yes, your personal touch as an Ultra Series fan really comes through in your work. Just say what you mean already. I apologize. We're both fans, but we simply express it in different ways. My robots, your kaiju... I think we would simply enjoy our dream worlds. Dream world, huh? Mine's turning into a nightmare. I thought I'd just take a walk while Rika and Utsumi were visiting their families. But it's weird to think that with all the fighting going on all over the world, this place is totally untouched. We finally meet. Hey, it's Anno Silas too. Who are you? Have you met before? Sure we have. Don't I look familiar? Or did you forget me? I'm really sorry, but I have amnesia. What's your name? My name? Don't you know I'm a kaiju? A kaiju? I don't really understand what you mean. Hehehe, <laughs> it's true. My ancestors were kaiju. Yeah. Care for a date? I'll tell you all about this town. So, um, what do you know? You got sleepy on your way here, didn't you? It happens to everyone who leaves town. Hey, you're right. We always go into the mist. And it puts you to sleep. It's not just mist. So, a question for you. Why do you think this world has kaiju attacks? Hmm. Are they coming through something like the blue hole to take over the world or something? Well, all these kaiju here, I mean, were created by a single person. A single lonely person, Akane Shinjo. Shinjo? Really? Akane Shinjo uses kaiju to destroy and recreate this town. She's done it over and over and over. I've been watching her for a long time. Why would she... To feel better. Fix the parts she doesn't like. This town is her whole world. When she made Kaiju, her heart, and this entire town along with it, turned into Kaiju themselves. Shinjo's heart is a Kaiju? Everyone who was killed by Kaiju were people who got on her bad side. Akane Shinjo created this world. She's basically your god. If that's true, she's one twisted god. You're right. That's why she's being used by a villain from outside. You, you mean an alien? Another one? After, after the Bulgaru and Poseidon? Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Wait, if you're a kaiju, why aren't you on Shinjo's side? I wasn't created by Akane Shinjo. I've been here since way before Tutsutsudai was created. And if we leave Shin Shinjo alone, she'll just keep creating kaiju? Yeah, just like she's been doing all along. Thanks, I have a little clearer picture of what I have to do. But why me? 
I kind of owe you a debt. Passed down from when you helped my ancestor. Sorry, I don't remember. It's okay. I'm glad we had this talk. She was weird. Wait, why does a god need to go to high school anyway? Hey, Hibiki. It's been a while, hasn't it? Shinjo? How long have you been in town? I didn't even know you got back. But don't gods know everything? Oh, so you know, huh? That makes things easier. Listen, Hibiki, don't you think way too much of this town, this world, is useless? So you're going to destroy those parts, everything you don't like, and then rebuild it. Is that what you're doing? Wow, you're way ahead. Not bad, Grin Man. How are you making these kaiju? Are they really coming from your heart? You want to know so bad? Then I'll show you how. Salutations, I am Alexis Karam. <gasps> So you're Yuta Hibiki. Akane has told me so much about you. And an alien who... You wanted to know how I'm making all these kaiju, right? He's been such a big help. He's making them? Oh, goodness me, no. I simply bring Akane's wonderful designs to life. What do you want with me? That awful pillar is throwing quite the wrench into our activities, you see. The pillar? You mean one of the pillars of light? The very same. And the same kind that have been appearing before your merry band. Do you know something about those pillars? Hmm. I suppose the simplest way of putting it is that they disrupt the world itself. See, I thought they were talking about the Ray Earth pillar. I forgot about the Gunnock Sword pillars. That they're, I mean, not the Gunnock Sword pillars. Well, they are the Gunnock Sword pillars, but they're also the Quest Horse pillars. Yeah. Okay. They are a considerable problem for all of us. You'll understand quite soon, I suspect. Huh? Actually, you may not get the chance, you know, since... Cerebral Kaiju have appeared. Oh no! Eh, it'll be repaired tomorrow. Down to Tutu die is spreading. It came out of nowhere with absolutely no forewarning. Appeared as a bit on the nose. Scramble anyone is back from Town Raycon. So we got 14 units. Uh, do I have access to all my Ultraman units? And Gridman? Uh, Gridman's probably auto deployed. Okay. And we'll send out Dan. You haven't seen him in a while. You and you. And, uh, okay, hold on. Think, 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 think. Fire J Decker, that's who I meant. Uh, Ikaruka is kind of important. Arcobus. You. That getter makes sense. And, uh. Hmm. Man, I can't decide. Uh, oh, we'll just go with our two Gundams. It's been a... We haven't seen them today. A girl who knew my identity showed up, and a Kaiju popped up right after. That can't just be one big coincidence, right? What's wrong, Chief? Still sore over the royal chewing out Moroboshi gave you for going AWOL? Heck no. And stay focused, kid. The enemy's right in front of us. Yeah, he's right. 
Exterminate Kaiju is part of the Ultra Bond job description, you know? Why are they all in caps? Why the heck are Yuta and Rika missing now, of all times? I'm sure they'll hurry back now. Damn it, I knew I should have gone with Yuta. Hey, chill. You're not going to help by freaking out. Kind of suspicious they're both AWOL at once. They could be having a real romantic time. You're joking. If that is the case, I would have to admire his bravery. This is no time for GGG impressions. Kaiju? Where's Gridman? Why isn't he out here? Let's get out of here, Auntie. Come on. I have to go. Go? Go where? Thanks for the eggs and toast. They were good. And he's gone. I have to get moving too. I have to get back. Is this another one of yours, Shinjo? Sure is. Pretty good, right? That Kaiju girl was telling the truth. What's the matter, Hibiki? You're not going to turn into Gridman? Call it back, Shinjo. You're a god, aren't you? Wow, it's like you don't even want to stop it. Don't listen to that alien. Don't you see it's manipulating you, Shinjo? I advise tabling this matter until you've defeated the Kaiju, or you may not like the result. Shinjo won't listen to me as long as this alien's with her. Okay, then I'll just do what I can. Well, there he goes. I thought he turned into Gridman right here. Hmm, perhaps there's a reason he didn't. It looks like Yuda and Rika are both on their way. We can't count on Gridman until Yuda calls him. Then we'll protect the town as best we can. All units, intercept the kaiju. Okay, so this is just a uh, rush down, beat down, have a good time time. And first we pull out the supporters and we'll do Tekkenan's way. And we will also do Rowdy Cheer. And for you, uh, Seal. And Flash, and Bullseye, and Parts, and Dubious Health Drink. We unlock the power. Whee! actually try with these guys. So the numbers just lie and make me think I need to do more. Okay. Whatever. So this should do the job, logically. <laughs> Ah, oh, so close. Not good to know. Ah, 
A robot fighting a kaiju is the perfect stage for our passions to collide. It's your kaiju creations against my masterpiece, the Akaruka, and we will prevail. Oh, come on, I'm outranging it. It's got cannons. We Can't I change like now? I can. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So I can transform whenever I want? Is that what it is? Oh, right. Yeah, I can transform whenever I want. Nice. Yeah, that, that greatly improves the thing. Anyway, send in the Ultraman. There are like three buildings I could stand on. God, I wish I didn't just throw him here. He doesn't really need it. Maybe guys have it like accelerate. Of course you guys don't.
Okay, throw your super knives. Of course I do way too much damage. Great. Vertical guillotine. Sure, whatever. Sorry, I'm here now. I'm here too. Itsumi, are you mad about something? L look, we're... You two on a date? No, no way. You hesitated. I knew it. It's really now the time for our comedy bit when our town is in danger. Hibiki, forget it. We have to hurry. You got it. Let's go, Gridman. Access Flash! You came for us, Gridman. You're here, Gridman. I've been waiting. Ah! It's the copycat again. Watch out, Yuta. He's going to come after Gridman. Gridman, today's the day I kill you. Did Shinjo make that talking kaiju too? You're distracted, Yuta. Is something wrong? Sorry, Gridman. I'll try to stay focused. We have to protect our town and everyone who lives in it. Vroom! Can I, uh... Can I get a boost dash and then a land? Vroom! If I could just talk with Shinjo, we may be- I mean, we might be able to resolve this without fighting. But first we have to get that alien, Alexis, out of the picture. Sure, let's just use the beam rifle. Something different than sending out funnels all the time. Mm-hmm. 
Sure, free. And um, boost dash. Get you in rain with getter two. So, did they not change the animations for these? No, oh, they did. Why did? Wait, when did he get it? When did he get helicopter blades? Or hover? Whatever. Jesus! Yes! Okay, what can I hit? Sure, why not? Oh, you'll be fine. Something that I'm not one shotting with, you know, these things. Uh, two shots, still fine. start. You know, just wave rider crash into it. Yep. 
The dimensional boundary is twisting. Oh no! The quest stores? What the hell are they doing here? They're not after us, are they? I don't see Carulium fall. They're attacking indiscriminately. How dare they? So many people live in this town. Oh come on. What's going on? How are all these intruders getting in? This really is a problem, isn't it? And it all began with the intrusion of that ship. I hate them. My town. My world. They can't take it. They can't. The more the order of the world crumbles, the faster Akane's already unstable mind deteriorates in kind. The, the sky. What? What is that? Captain Mitsuba, unknown objects have appeared up in the sky. A city? An upside down city in the sky? Is this one of the quest source tricks? Is that what that Alexis guy was trying to warn me about? Well, Akane, look at the sky. This is certainly a conundrum. No, no way. My world is... I must say I share your consternation. Your paradise is beginning to crumble. Will you allow this? Will... Uh, bleh. Allow them to defile your world until it crumbles once and for all? No, no, I won't. This town is mine. They can't have it. I won't let them. I'll destroy anyone and everyone who tries to ruin my world. Indeed. Very good. Eliminate all invaders to your world. The quest doors of a star inverted city. Captain Mitsuba, your orders? Our first priority is to protect the town of Tsutsutsu Jedi. Roger that. We'll figure the rest of this out later. First, we take out the kaiju and the quest doors. Yuda, can you handle this? No problem. I don't care if Shinjo made this town. Our friends, our families, are the ones who live in it. We're going to fight to protect all those people. And we're going to move the ships up because we don't want to be in the middle of the, you know, quest doors. Not a good place to be. Is there a connection between the quest stores in this town? And if we were called here by someone for a purpose, what is it? Wait, why are the Vulcans, or the machine guns, beam-based? It should be bullets. Whatever. And we've hit overtime. Mm -hmm. 
I'll do. Oh, hey, the city is actually upside down in the sky. That's neat. Block that attack. I perish. Just stop existing, grid man. Stop attacking. I have questions for you. All I want to hear out of you is you're screaming as you suffer. Here I come, grid man. He has no intention of listening to you, Yuda. Fine, we'll just do this until he can't fight anymore. <laughs> Sure is. Yeah, good start. Bring up the psycho frame. Okay. As uh, where's oh yeah, we gotta do what parts do we have? Uh, supporters. Do we have enough for uh We do. Cool. Okay, no problems then. That's true.
Rolling Thunder? Okay. Oh, hold on. I'll destroy you, Gridman. That's the purpose for my existence. He's really banging on that drum, huh? This voice, is that? Well, why is it rolling thunder? Oh, it's a thrown sword. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, a hundred. Oh, I think you will. Shinjo make that city up in the sky too? You can't keep doing this, Shinjo. The alien is taking advantage of you. Oh well. Damn it, why can't I beat Gridman? Hang on, I have to talk to you. I have no need to talk. The only relationship we have is who's going to die first. He's gone. I knew it. That voice was that boy, Anti. It seems Anti is as useless as he seemed. He flies out on his own just to get beat. What's the point? If you don't manage your failure, he may become one of the very things defiling your world. He needs to be punished. You may even have to be prepared to dispose of him. Handle it, Alexis. You can always make another kaiju. The next one will destroy Gridman and all his allies. Right.
Huh? Why can't I kill this one, but not this one? Oh, because it's got more health. Whatever. Sure are. Hey, it's nice that enemies aren't getting one-shotted anymore by, like, best attacks. Close, but not exactly. Always help. Okay, so these are all the enemies left. And say, oh, they do support defend. God damn it. Defend with your backside. Oh, it's a great idea. Forty six percent. 
Still won't kill though, somehow. Oh wow, it hit. Yeah, probably a good idea. Why would we do that? Yep, just slightly in the rushing mode because we are over time for today's stream. Now, I wasn't expecting reinforcements at all. I really should, but I figured I could have done this in 40 minutes. Nope, nope, nope. I thought you had head in the way. Why don't you have head in the way? Oh man. I wanted to get you in this spot and then use the wings of light. Maybe from here? Hold on. You can still get this to work. Lash. Intuition. Whatever. Soul. He knew it from here? Good, zero percent. And I'm not hitting anything else. Still left? Okay, I should be able to do that with what I have. <laughs> Haven't seen this in a while. Oh, 
発射5秒前321撃てあっあっあっあっあっあっ Right. Kakui, Sento Jimbi, is the Mokongi Kanodis. Mary, you should hold the tape. Speaking of the Noahs, I wonder when、uh, Hathaway's Flash Part Two is going to come out. The Kaiju and Questers have both been eliminated, so we managed to save the town. Not really. I really want to be all, hell yeah, Gridman, go Dry Cruise, but. Yeah, that city up in the sky. Hey, Rika, can I talk to you? Can't you do it here? It's, uh, kind of private. Huh? He's going to ask her out, right? No way. I thought Fit was just joking. Hibiki, do you remember what you were saying before you got amnesia? Yuda, you left me behind, haven't you? Huh? I've got to apologize for always being a third wheel between you two. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Itsumi. I actually need to say this to you, too. Huh? Wait, wait. You're saying I was jumping to conclusions? You sure were. Jeez, don't make this weird. That probably means they're talking about something Gridman related, huh? What a letdown. Not as much as Itsumi, but I was actually infested for a second there. So, your memories aren't back after all. And how and how about us, Captain? Do we check out the sky? That would be best. We need as much data as we can get before we report to Commodore Fikes. Now what? Alert for the main system. It's, it's the same thing that happened the first time we came to、uh, Suits of Jedi. Whatever's in our system doesn't want us to be here anymore. Captain! We're leaving town. All units, return to the d r y s t r a g e r on the double. Bye! Thank you, Gridman. Now, where do I go from here? They seem to be taking their leave. What shall we do, Akane? Obviously, we're going to go after them, but even if we catch them, just make more kaiju. That's your job, after all. And we'll destroy everything, everything outside of your world. Today has been a lot to take in, and now we try to leave through the mist and find ourselves over the Pacific Ocean. That's right, it's exactly like the last time. What exactly is the Tsutsujidai place? All we know is that it's where we first encountered the Kaiju and Gridman. There must be some connection between that city and the Kaiju. And now the Questors are involved with this. Yuta claims that Gridman has no more information about Tsutsujidai or the Kaiju than we do. Our only clue is whatever happened, I mean, keeps bringing us there. You mean the one who hacked into the Dress Striker's main system? But we still have no clue who or what it could be. Maybe it has ruled out the possibility of external intrusion. Damn it, this is all nonsense. None of it makes any sense. We don't have any leads of our own, so we'll have to let Commodore Fikes take it from here. Right, let's check out some of the other targets. Yuna seems to have an idea, but we can't force him to tell us before he's ready. So, you're saying Kano Shinjo is a god being preyed on by an alien? Pretty much. Sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. I can hardly believe it either, but that girl showed me. What girl? She looked like a grade schooler, but she was actually a kaiju. Dude, I'm gonna smack you. It's true, I swear. That's so weird and freaky. So, you're telling me you just believe everything this supposed kaiju girl told you, for real? But I saw the alien too. And he looked exactly like you're thinking the big bad evil boss should look. Honestly, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt just because I don't believe you could lie, especially like this. 
So if we defeat Shinjo, we can stop the kaiju? Maybe, but... I mean, sounds like you don't think we can get through to her, so we just have to stop her and this Alexis guy. Whatever. Aren't you jumping to conclusions? You just want to see a good fight, don't you? What are you saying? It's not that I want to fight. It's that the Gridman Alliance has a duty to fight. Haven't you noticed you're the only one who calls anyone the Gridman Alliance? But what are you getting at? Akane is my friend. I want to save her. So what? You want to knock on her door and ask if she'd pretty please mind not making any more kaiju? You know we have more options than that. No one wants to fight their friends unless they absolutely have to. Haven't you been listening? Your friend is a god. If she made our town, that would imply she could have made us, too. That's... That's what we're up against. You think she'd listen to you? I have to try. Akane is... Your friend, right? Just listen. What if your god made you to be her friend? That can't be. My heart is... Guys, please. We're not getting anywhere fighting over this. Yuda. If these kaiju are coming from Shinjo, I also think just fighting her won't do any good. Won't do any good? What? I can't really explain it, but I think we do have to save her soul. We're not going to fight her, but save her? I just don't know how we're going to do that. But I want to figure that out together. That means we have to work together. Yuda, you're right. I, uh, I'm sorry, Rika. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I'm still working through this, so let's keep this just between us, just within the Gridman Alliance. You're right. I don't want to see the Federation go to, I don't know, war with Shinjo or whatever. Akane knows your Gridman, right, Yuda? Yeah, she's not exactly a fan of Gridman beating all the kaiju. Then she'll follow us to get a chance to fight Gridman. Hibiki, when she does... Right, I'll find a way to talk with her. If we can avoid fighting her. I sure hope it works. Hey, you showed up! What, what, what? How did you get on board the ship? Hee 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 hee, I want to see the outside world. Who's this kid? I'm a kaiju. Is this the kid you said told you about Akane? Get spilling those beans, runt. Nope, you have to figure it out yourself. Hey, where are you going? Don't worry, no one will find me, I promise. And I'll help you out when you have to fight. And she's gone. Well, you know she's not our enemy, so we can't let... So we can let her do what she wants. Yeah, we've got Shinjo to worry about. Yeah. We have to keep fighting so that we can save both the world and Shinjo. That's our, that's the Gridman Alliance's mission. Secret Supporter Cat. 